Hello YouTube, this is another beautiful morning and how are you today and I hope you all are doing lovely. I come here with something very detrimental and very serious and it is a message from God. Yesterday as I live here in Houston, Texas, I was walking uh, with my, my, my play daughter and we was walking in the park. And in the midst of the park we happened to look up and saw the sky. Now as we was walking and we saw the sky we saw I told her I was said she she got my attention actually and she said uh, mama look she said it's, look it's so pretty up there I said well yeah look it looked as if someone took a paintbrush and went across the clouds and it was all airbrushed but as she looked again she said mama it looked like angel like angel wings or however so I looked I said yes it does baby so I turned around and I looked around to the other side of the sky it looked like hills and mountains and valleys and I was like wow that looked like hills mountains and valleys but as I just want you all to close your eyes and put in a remembrance if you can just imagine a, a, a desert how the wind ripples through against the sand and um, it just makes the waves up in there and then you have the hills in the background that's exactly how it looked okay and so it seemed as if you know you saw like it was as if an army so right when I was saying man it's like like it's like a stir or something and right when I said that God came through to me and he said watch and tell the story tell what you see here today tell the story so I mentioned it back and I told it to Jasmine I said God said for us to watch this and he wants us to go back and tell the story and as I did that I got um I was walking past the car and she was holding my hand, um, my play daughter, and immediately when I looked I said, wow, it was the biggest cloud of them. I said as if that cloud represents like Michael. And then I looked again as I said that, a face appeared in the cloud. And I'm going to see if I can get that on here and I'm going to upload it. And I'm trying to figure out how to do that, but I want you all to see what we saw because we did take pictures. It was, I looked and it's immediately I knew, I just knew it. I said, that is, that face in the cloud, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. And when I did that, I fell down to my knees immediately in the middle of the park. And I was actually in the park in lot, just in the middle of everything. And it's like I humbled myself before him and I bowed down before him. And I just started repenting um, with everything within my heart and my soul, my very fiber, my very being. And I just did it, came before the family of the Lord and as tears are streaming down my face and and everything um, the Lord just was telling me to look around he showed me as if it was it was flashes but it was as if it was in one big screen as if you look at a movie but this is no man-made movie it was like I was there but I was not there it's like my spirit had left me as if I had fell in dead I could not there was no response it was like I was in another pl level I was on another another is aspect. I don't know how to fully explain it, but it 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 is what it was. So I did that, and my God, I tell you, He showed me everything. He was showing me all the darkness of the world. He was showing me marriages, um, giving it to same-sex marriages. He was showing me. I saw little babies literally crying as if their parents or whatever they was terrified. Their parents got. Um, stripped away from them or they was terrified of something I saw everything that was ungodly that was not of God in that vision it I felt everything I felt like nothing but pangs uh, P-A-N-G pains in other words I felt the emotional burden I felt the the pain was so severe that I was feeling emotionally that I my body could have just combust. That's how strong it was. I have never, you guys, I have never experienced anything like this ever in my life. Ever in my life. And I tell you, and it was just, wow. He also showed me 
good things that happens as well. But some of that stuff is more aspect that went that's going on in my life at this area in this time. So I don't need to dwell on that. But I'm just letting you know the vision that I saw in the sky, the clouds, the represents that was a stir. It represents the final battle. But actually, the the first time I saw it, it didn't give it what give me, give it to me what it really was until the end of everything. But um, it was like a beginning. It was, we were seeing a battle going on. The light versus the darkness. And it was the light pushing the darkness back. But as we sat out there for about 20 to 30 minutes or longer, the clouds still maintained their shape. They did not shift. They stayed in that spot. The only way it shifted is if, if the, the, the battle was moving around. But everybody still was in position. And I tell you, it was, it was this, it was, it was the strangest thing ever. And I just was wondering what's going on. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm, it's a phone call coming through. Okay, I'm sorry about that. And it was just. If I can explain to y'all everything I saw, y'all will be tremendous. Y'all be thinking, you know, this, she is losing her mind. She's gone out of her head. But I, we took pictures just to prove what we saw. And I'm going to really see if I can get my play daughter to load it up on the computer because I honestly don't know how and I want y'all to see the things that we saw. Okay, and it's nothing where you have to just look at it and try to figure it out. You're going to see it immediately when you see there, when you see it. Um... At the end of the battle that I saw, I saw the darkness still there. And it was like the light left. I didn't see anything left. There, all the light that, that was around it was gone. And I was looking at that, and God came and He said, strictly, He said, For I'm snatching up the lightness out of the world. He's coming back for the lightness, He's taking His light. And the only thing that's going to be remaining in this world is complete and utter darkness. Things that is not of him is going to remain. But the only one light that stayed up there didn't go anywhere was that face I saw. That was Jesus. And at the end of everything, me and my daughter, we were walking back to the, the vehicle. And as we done that, um, I looked around again because the Holy Ghost was just talking to me so strong and I had tears coming out of my eye and I was praying in the spirit and I was just giving him all the honor and all the glory and I was giving him thanks because he was just revealing a lot of things to me at that time and you know what I turned around and I saw as if an angel was soaring across the sky and the wings from the side and the whole element of it and you saw a big long um, horn, not a shofar, but a horn, as if he was blowing. I took a couple of pictures of those too, so you can see that as well. God, this is God's final warning. Don't be left here with the darkness that's in the world. He said, repent. Repent with all thine heart, with all thine soul, and with all thine spirit. Repent. For the time is nigh. For the time is nigh. Repent. Repent for everything that you have not done wrong, knowingly and unknowingly. Everything that is not of God that you have may have done, known and unknown. Repent. Also, when it comes to repenting, forgive. How can you expect your father to forgive you when you cannot even forgive your fellow brother, sister, or fellow man? Whoever have done you wrong out there, forgive them. Forgive them. As you want Christ to forgive you, forgive them. But he also said, if he knocked, will you let him in? 
He's not going to force himself upon you, but would you let him in? God, if y'all could have seen what I seen, y'all would be bawling right now. Y'all would just be like, hallelujah, giving all the honor and the glory and all, just giving praises unto him. If you saw what I saw. I'm not coming for you to scare you, but I'm coming to you to let you know the things that must be done to require salvation and eternal life. Repentance is the number one goal. Forgiveness, having faith. Well, I hope this was able to help you. I must give this a saying. Peace and, peace and blessings be unto you and to everything you do. Go with God as God goes with you. I love you. And there really is nothing that you can do about it. I love you. Y'all be careful, okay? Y'all go with God as He really does go with you. Take care. Goodbye. For now, at least.